sets the trains on the tracks for long-suffering commuters who've had to put up with those terrible events of last Oh, week. well, I've just come in on this. Well, you know, I mean, the, the state needs a government that treats its public Well, I think in a way, I would never vote Labor and I don't support them, but I think he's right. He's the leader of the Labor Party in New South Wales. So, so, um, Mr Foley. To be treated with respect. I've said I don't want to see a strike. There ought to be no strike. But working people but, are entitled um, to seek a fair day's work for a fair The day's government pay says they can't provide a, a refund myself, for poor services. I don't expect the Premier They're wrong to take about up that. the offer. But you know what? She has a transport minister whose stock in trade is to denigrate the people who deliver our public transport. And that is not conducive to the so, best public um, transport system. If you denigrate your workforce... You can't provide answer, thousands of new services without the drivers or the trains to do so. They're going to have to have a new timetable to take that into account. I'm calling on all parties to behave with common sense and goodwill. Commuters have suffered enough. People who work for a living are entitled to seek a pay rise. The Minister ought to treat them with respect. If the Premier won't take up my offer to get involved, she ought to get involved herself because clearly the Transport Minister, with his stock in trade of denigrating public transport workers, you know, boasting that he won't have to deal, that the government won't have to deal with train drivers in a decade's time, that's not going to help resolve the dispute. Mm. It's only going to make a bad situation worse. Why do you think so many train drivers are full? I think there's a virtually a legal strike with these 70 train drivers off, off sick. That, that's a find that a bit hard to swallow. Why did the employer approve so many leave applications in mm. advance if the result is there's not enough train drivers to drive the trains? And let's remember here, over the weekend, 100 train services cancelled on Saturday. Today, several dozen train services cancelled. Mm. See, the Premier's new timetable is not worth the paper it's written on. These are phantom services that appear on paper, but they're cancelled before they ever reach your railway station.